uh, the presets are its own little tab here. And how it's going to work is there is going to be a, a repository where uh, there's official and then community presets loaded. And anybody can submit a preset that they would like. It's basically a, a CLI uh, setup. So say if I click on here for tunes, I can click on these presets, kind of filter stuff out. You can see there's the Karate Race tune. There's a Betaflight 4.3 uh, tune settings. I don't, I don't know what that is. So I can click on it. And you can see a little uh, description. So for this one, you can see the description there. If I click on this one, it has a little bit more of a description. So people are flying this one. Gets which there's actually options in here as well. So you can see a tune could have multiple options. You could say, I want it to be, you know, using dynamic idle or not. Um, I don't know what spicy is or not. But uh, you can see what things are by simply clicking on them and then hitting the uh, open in GitHub. So if you click on that, it will actually pull you over to GitHub, where then it will take you to this text file, which is the preset itself. So that's really nice. Uh, I, I wish there was a graphic interface to see it, but that's, that's not easy to do. <laughs> uh, a graphic interface to see the changes. And if you weigh it against other presets out there, uh, like an Emu Flight or Flight One, at least this gives you an idea of what's in the preset before you apply it. In those other firmwares, as far as I'm aware, you have no idea what it's changing until you just apply it and kind of like look through it and say, okay, it changed this, or you have to kind of know what you had before and then, you know, after you apply the preset, look at it again. So in this one, at least you can look through now it's, you know, you got to kind of need to know what these settings are to, to know what they're changing. But you can see, you know, what it's applying for dynamic notch, Q factors, and notch counts and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it's basically it's going to do a, a, a dump of this into the CLI and save. So that's that's what it is here now. It's interesting. Yeah. So you can see there's this is kind of the options. Yeah, you can see this is uh, option begins with unchecked. So this is the spicy tune. Um, and this is the option if dynamic idle is enabled. You can see what it's doing there for getting up dynamic idle setup. So that is that. The, the other thing that's in here, it's you can, you know, if you only want official tunes, you can click the official tunes button here, which you should be able to see. So if I, you know, I would think in the future there's going to be a ton of community presets, but if I go just uncheck and see everything, you can see there's one community preset right here so far. And if I, of course, check official, then you only get the official ones from, uh, I guess, the beta flight team. But there's going to be more than just tuning stuff. Uh, there's rate presets in here as well. So you can see, you can come back in, you can apply different rate profiles if you have your you know different community ones like turner might have his in there that kind of stuff um you can see bms thomas uh, has his in here because uh, he works closely with uh, chris thompson tunes and stuff like that uh, you can even use it to reset defaults so yeah for rates maybe that's not uh, hugely important but you have other um, things in here whereas if you just wanted to go back to default filters you can go and click on here and then you know click on this and hit apply that will load you back up now if i again if you look down through here basically this is just reapplying the defaults uh, for all the filter settings for 4.3 uh, let's go back into here so if i hit close now the thing i don't love about the presets if i click off of this it reboots because it's Basically, you're like in a version of the CLI, and then maybe that will get changed before the official release. I know there's a number of items uh, still on um, Ivan's radar. So there's a, I should s s mention that. <laughs> Big thanks to Ivan. Uh, he is a racer, and he's out of Texas. He's a contributor to Betaflight Club. He goes by Lemon FPV. The presets are his baby. He got, you know, the, the okay from uh, Mike Keller to go ahead and start going down this road 
I worked with Mike to get the additional GitHub repository set up and the processes because there's some automatic stuff going on there for just PR approvals. He also coded up all the stuff for the configurator. He's currently working on that. Um, he's cheerleading the team. He's really running it. And, you know, he's no slouch. He places in national level of racing. So he's, he's quite a unique guy because he's uh, you know, doing all this code work uh, at the beta flight development level, but he's, you know, ranked racer uh, in the United States. So, yeah, big thanks for having to all the preset stuff and and uh, and best of luck with his uh, racing stuff as he goes. He's uh, again a competitive racer, so I'm sure he's uh, he's in it to win.